North Korea is the worst problem on Earth. There's the madman ruler, the million man army, the growing nuclear arsenal. To the world, they appear unhinged, ready to launch an attack on Seoul or San Francisco at any moment. To understand how this standoff between Pyongyang and the world became so dire, it helps to go back to the founding of North Korea nearly 70 years ago. After World War II, the Korean Peninsula was split in half with a Soviet-backed government to the north and a United States-backed government to the south. North Korea's founder and dictator, Kim Il-sung, built a cult of personality like few in modern history. School children were taught that they were fed, clothed, and nurtured by the grace of the dear leader. Kim Il-sung introduced his own version of Marxism, known as Chute, or self-reliance, that promised political independence, industrialization, and the world's strongest military. The hermit kingdom was born. The world came to see North Korea as a tragedy. They built a robust military, brutal prison camps, and little else. Nighttime satellite photos show the lower half of the peninsula ablaze with civilization, while the northern half is a black hole. Today, it's a black hole ruled by Kim Il-sung's grandson, Kim Jong-un. He has his grandfather's ambition to rule the whole peninsula, and an arsenal of nuclear, chemical, and biological weapons to back him up. Right now, Kim Jong-un poses a threat to the region. If he succeeds in developing an intercontinental ballistic missile topped with a nuclear warhead, his reach will extend to the United States mainland. Other countries, even adversaries, have nukes. North Korea is the only one that has vowed final doom to the United States. North Korea might have the capability to nuke Los Angeles by the end of Trump's term. The president has tweeted, this won't happen but he's left with four terrible options. The first is prevention, an all-out American invasion. This would topple the regime and eliminate its nukes, but almost certainly will result in millions of deaths and create a failed state that the United States would have to occupy and govern for at least a generation. Second is what is called turning the screws, limited aerial strikes and special operations targeting Kim's nuclear and missile development infrastructure. The problem is that North Korea could interpret our limited strikes as an all-out war and choose to retaliate. They could decimate Seoul in minutes. The third option is decapitation, overthrowing the regime. While neat in theory, this would be extremely difficult, and it would be a huge gamble. Given the reverence for Kim, it could automatically trigger the very response it seeks to avoid. Lastly, there is acceptance. Yes, they may soon be able to hit Los Angeles with a nuke, an option they'd certainly consider if the regime was at stake. But Americans lived with a far greater threat for almost a half century. Like in the Cold War, the world may simply have to learn to stop worrying and love the bomb.